So I'm down here today uh, at my brother's, uh, DeVito. Uh, he's just uh, picked up this rig uh, for the mushing. But it needs a bit of renovation doing, uh, just tidy up a bit. Uh, you can see like, the handlebars could do a painting. Well, we're going to replace the uh, rear brakes with the disc brakes because uh, they did have some on before but they've been taken off by the previous owner. As far as I know the tyres should be alright but we'll just uh, put new tubes in. Uh, we'll check the tyres as we do that. Uh, we're going to tidy up the frame, just uh, any bits that need repainting and uh, whatnot. Another job we're going to be doing is replacing the rivets in these uh, running boards here. Uh, just to replace them with uh, some button head bolts, just to give it a bit more, a bit more strength. Because uh, quite a few of these rivets have, uh, have you seen this one? Rivets have popped through. Uh, so we're just going to replace them with button head bolts. So I'll bring you along with us, and uh, we'll show you how we get on. So after about half hour sanding, at least, uh, we've got the uh, wheels uh, tidied up a bit. Just got the thin coating of rust off the spokes and uh, just off the rims. So that's the rims tidied up. All looking pretty good now. So Danny's just washed the uh, tyres, so we'll just wait for them to dry off. And then we'll put the new tubes and, and the tyres on. Right, so time to put the uh, tyres back on. All with the new, brand new tubes in them. So we get these done. And Danny, pump it. Well, that's the tyres on. Next step is to strip some of the other stuff off the. The rig, uh, probably the handlebars, uh, maybe the foot plates. Well, that was a lot easier than I expected. Mm. So, yeah, take the handle back on. Give them a clean up with that stuff. Mm -hmm. But these are tires. We're just taking these old calipers off. These are going to be replaced with the disc brakes. See, oh, that came off easy enough. So we're going to take this off as well. Just get this all polished up. Uh, you can see the rust on there. But yeah, then we're going to get that cleaned up and I'm going to take the handlebars and start sanding on them and uh, prep them for paint. Oh yeah, that's looking a lot better. Still get paste. Just use some metal polish here. Yeah. Yep. So all I'm going to do now is, uh, hopefully if it's dry, take this outside and shoot some primer on it. And here's our little helper. Come in building our, our rig. Yeah. So we're just moving on, we're just going to take the foot plates off, uh, just straighten up. Um, which one was it? That one that's bent. We'll straighten that up and then we'll replace these rivets with the uh, button head bolts. That's one off. Now for the other side. So that's the last coat on the bars now. They look uh, pretty decent. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just move on and uh, sand and key the frame uh, to uh, accept paint. 
So I've just got a few few rusty bits on this to sand, uh, which I'll prime. The rest I'll just key and uh, top coat. But yeah, that looks like it. It's all keyed off. Ready for painting. Just got to wipe it down with some white spirit. It's the following day, uh, we're just doing some small touch-ups on the frame, just a, a couple of patches just need to hit again with the black spray, so we'll do that just now. And that's the paint all dry, it's looking really good, so we're going to start off, we'll put the uh, forks back on and uh, the handlebars. Well that's it so far, I think uh, the next time you'll see this uh, it'll be all finished, um, still to fit the brakes. Uh, but they haven't come yet, so we need to wait for those to arrive. Uh, but as you can see, it's coming along very nicely. To see the rig completed and possibly in action, make sure you check out Tavito501's channel. Bye for now.